everyone Kaisha here thank you for joining me on my channel the butterfly effect a huge shout out to all of my day one old subscribers my new subscribers and if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you I encourage you to please share like and of course subscribe uh, today I am doing uh, a series called The Lesson, and this is for the Cancer Divine Feminine. So this is a situation, a cycle, an experience that happened to you in the past and what you needed to learn from it or what you have learned from it, along with what you will be doing in the future and guidance from spirit. So to my left is what happened in the past. Um, in the center is the lesson and um, on my right is moving forward guidance from spirit along with what you will be doing. So I'm going to jump right in. Let's just get to the point. <laughs> okay, so my divine fams, in the past, you were doing very well for yourself. You had money coming in, you had abundance. Yeah, money was not an issue for you. You were very abundant in the past, very abundant. But the problem was you did not use your intuition with your abundance right so you you dropped your defenses with someone that you should have been defensive with so if this could have been uh i'm picking up a female energy so this could have been a family member a friend this person was using you for your money. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a, a divine feminine who is uh, being asked to pay a lot of bills, like just, just a lot of bills that are they weren't even your own, right? Or always being asked for money. Very, very generous divine feminine. You're very, very generous, very, very giving, right? But you would give and then you would kick yourself in the ass because you would give what you need, right? You would give it away in hopes that people would return. A lot of times you lent people money and they did not pay you back, right? Because they knew you had money. And you were around somebody who... They took complete advantage. Like, they would borrow money from you with absolutely no intentions of paying you back because in their mind, it was like, well, she has it, so... Let me help her spend it, right? And this person came off as you gave to this person because you cared about them. And this person put on this front like they really checked for you, you know, like they love you and they're there for you and they're so loyal and they're a good friend or, you know. Yeah, but you gave and some of these people, they were, they really did care about you, but they did take advantage of you. you. You know, they took advantage of the fact that you are very giving, right? Not all of them were bad. But you, you over gave, you over extended yourself. Yeah. And you weren't using your intuition to know who to give to and who not to give to, you know, like, um, you kind of had to be like the bank and you weren't, right? Because people were taking you for a bank, right? So instead of saying, okay, I loaned you money once and you didn't pay me back. So don't come back around here. I don't got nothing for you, right? You didn't say that. You were just like, okay, sure, here. You, ne you need to pay for something. Okay, here. No. <laughs> How about you pay me back the money that you have for me? And then we can work out something else if I feel like it. Because in the past, Divine Feminine... Even if you didn't feel like giving or you didn't want to give, you gave anyway, right? Like you felt, you felt obligated. You felt like if someone was a family member or someone was a friend, you had to do it. But you don't, honey. It's your money. You work for it. You decide what you're going to do with it. Right? So a lot of people played off of your, your generosity. Yeah. So the lesson from that. So this caused problems in your life. Yes. Storms. Um, I'm seeing a divine feminine. I'm picking up, um, what is it? Anxiety from a divine feminine because she can't pay her own bills. And a lot of people owe her money, but she's broke. Right? 
You needed to be like the bank. <laughs> Divine feminine. You're such a sweetheart. But you needed to be like the bank. Okay, I'm going to put some tax on that because you took long. You said you were going to pay me back in three weeks and you didn't. It's been three months. You owe me extra and I need my money, right? <laughs> I'm hearing that Rihanna song, bitch better have my money. Y'all don't know me well enough. Divine Feminine, I'm a Scorpio and let me tell you how. I had to boss up on some people like that too. Don't come to me. You need to have my money, right? And that was the lesson that you needed to learn. Like you needed to learn how to use your intuition so that you know who to give to and who not to give to. You To use your intuition so you know that who really genuinely cares about you, supports you, nurtures you. Because some of these people in your life, I'm picking up the, energy, the very strong energy of a female. There was a feminine energy that was just like siphoning your shit. Like they're just... They were just using you for money. It could have been a family member using you for money. Some of you, you may have had, you may have been an older sister and um, your younger sister would just like borrow money from you all the time because she, you may have a good, had a good job or have a good job and they know you have money. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm picking up the energy of a divine feminine that's um, you're in the legal field and you make a lot of money and your um, female sibling would just drain your account because she knew you had money, right? My sister will pay for it for me, <laughs> all right? My sister's got me, and this would cause problems in your life. You needed to learn how to be strong enough to say no and set healthy boundaries for yourself, right? You needed to learn how to do the right thing for yourself when people weren't trying to do the right thing for you or towards you. Yeah. Yeah. You needed to learn how to be strong and stand your ground. Like say no and mean no. You know what? No is a whole and complete sentence in itself, eh? <laughs> it took me a long time to learn that one too, honey. Don't worry about it. Don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. You learned a lesson. You learned a lesson. And if you don't know, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. It's what are you going to do about the information that you have, right? So uh, Divine Feminine, you needed to learn how to set healthy boundaries Say no and mean it. Don't say no and then just because they keep persisting and asking you change your mind. Oh, well, I need this money to pay my rent or my mortgage, but okay, I'll loan it to you. And they're not even telling you the stupid shit that they need the money for, right? I'm I'm seeing a divine feminine lending someone money because they lied to them and told them they're going to do something and they went and got a tattoo or they went out to dinner with someone. They took your hard ass earned money and went to go entertain other people to make it look like they have money. No, that's not how it goes. You want to entertain people, you need to go get your own bag. Yeah, you need to chase your own bag. Don't be anyone's bank, Divine Feminine. You're not anyone's personal ATM. Yeah, and that was a that was the lesson for you because this caused problems. Problems in your life put you in a lot of um financial worries, financial problems. Yeah. Sometimes you couldn't pay your bills and it's not for lack of money because you had money. It's because you did not use your intuition, your wisdom on when to lend and who to lend to. Because like I said, there were some people in your life that you would give money to that they were just using you. They were fully using you. They had no good intentions towards you. They were actually very, very fucking selfish, right? And it was all about them. And you, you weren't strong. You weren't strong enough to say, uh, no, I don't got you this time. You need to figure your own shit out. Your problems are not my problems. I have a 14-year-old daughter, and she has this expression. She's like, oh, that sounds like a you problem, right? <laughs> Divide feminine. You needed to say, oh, that sounds like a you problem. I don't have anything to do with that. Go figure your shit out. I got my own stuff to take care of. Right, Because while you're helping other people build their foundations and keep their shit intact, your shit, right? Problems, just problems, right? Thunder and like problems. And some of them were serious problems too, right? Some of you were facing eviction at some point in time, um, a car repossession. Some of you couldn't even find money to pay, pay your babysitters. Because you loaned people money who said they would pay you back in time. But those people had absolutely no intention of giving you your money back. Right? And the worst part about it is they would come back. 
they would just wait a little while. Oh, okay. So I'm picking up the energy of a feminine that um, you would lend money to. And because they didn't want to pay you back, they would start an argument with you. Yes. They would start an argument and then you guys would stop talking for a while. And then they think that you forget about it, come back six months later and make up and think you forget about it and then ask you for money again. And you would give it to them, right? Because you're thinking, oh, okay, well, you know, I squashed it. I forgave you. Divine Feminine, you can forgive people and set boundaries with them, right? You can also forgive people and not fucks with them anymore, right? Yeah, I released this. I ain't mad at you, right? But I'm not messing with you anymore. You're not allowed in my life. You're not allowed in my world. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. Yeah. So this lesson was strongly about setting healthy boundaries using your intuition because the problems that this would cause because you were so stressed out and worried, you weren't, your intuition was blocked. So you weren't even hearing the messages that were supposed to come in or they would be distorted, right? You would be confused because you're so worried about, well, where am I going to get the money from to pay my rent? Where am I going to get the money from to pay the babysitter, um, to pay my car note? You'd be so stressed out and the stress blocks your intuition, right? It lowers your vibration, right? You want to get high vibrational messages? You need to have a high vibration. You need to be clear. You need to have clarity of thought. These things would confuse you. And, and some of you divine feminines, you were confused by people's actions because you would be like, well, I thought you cared about me. You know, I thought we were friends. I thought we were family. Why are you dealing with me like this? But you did not stand up for yourself, right? Sometimes you have to boss up, like level the fuck up. And let people know that they can't play with you, right? Or let people know that the games that they're playing and the jokes that they're running, you're not laughing. They're not funny, right? Mm -hmm. So that was the lesson that you needed to learn from what happened in the past with this person or with these people. Just I'm, I'm picking up just energies of people, period, right? You were like money bags, money bags, money bags, money bags. Yeah, you were money bags. Um, some of these people um, in the past... Whenever they had a problem, they would automatically know to go to you, right? And they would create financial problems in their life knowing that you would solve it for them. Mm -hmm. And you needed strength to say no. You weren't using your power. You weren't standing in your power, right? You're a goddess. You're a goddess. And you forgot. You forgot. You forgot that it's okay to say no. <laughs> Hell no. Hell to the no. I don't have anything for you. Figure your shit out. Right? This is um, setting boundaries. It shows self-love. It shows self-respect. Right? Uh, you know what I learned, Divine Fam? I used to have this problem too, right? I just give, 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 give. It, was, it, it just got so stupid. It got ridiculous. And I realized that when I started to say no, the people that respected me, they respected my decision and everything was fine. We kept it moving. And the people, they always reveal themselves. The people that are using you, they always reveal themselves. They get angry. They try to tell you that you're selfish. You know, they try to make you feel guilty. They try to emotionally manipulate you because you're not giving to them anymore. They can't use you. Those people will reveal themselves always. And those are the people that you brush. Brush them off. Brush. Brush them off. Yeah, brush them off. Okay, so moving into the future along with guidance from spirit, my beautiful divine femme. We have third chakra, Archangel Shamuel along with three of fire, two of water in reverse, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, angel of balance, mm-hmm, and victory, yes, baby, yes. So, spirit, spirit, <laughs> spirit saying, I hope you learned your lesson, I hope you learned your lesson. Because in the future, the very near future, I'm hearing that you are going to have that energy and that strength to cut people off and cut people out of your life who are not serving you, who do not care about you, who do not support you, who do not nurture you. You are going to be cutting them off and cutting them out, right? Because you are on a new journey, right? You're on fool's journey, you're divine feminine. Right? So you're on a journey towards the things that your heart truly desires. And one of those things is to be around people that genuinely care about you. They genuinely check for you, you know. They care that you're doing good too, 
Yeah. So you're going to be cutting ties with some people or someone like done, right? Disconnecting, separating yourself, keeping your distance. You know, you can love people, but you can love them from afar too. Yeah. Like I'm going to stay over here in my world and you stay over there in your world and from time to time i'll send you some love and some light but don't you bring your fucking ass over here right yeah mm -hmm. angel of balance this is going to create balance in your life yes no more money problems no 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 more money problems the money that you make you do what you need to do with it for your benefit for your highest good yeah you taking care of your bills you're taking care of your bills first. And if you have any disposable income that you can lend to somebody, then okay, you'll think about it. You may have disposable income and decide that you don't want to give it to anybody. You have that right too. And this is where your victory is. Yes, 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 yes. You get victory from this, from setting healthy boundaries with a motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Good for you, Divine Feminine. Good for you. Because you see, you get to a place. You get to a space. You get to a frequency where you're just like, I'll cut anybody off. I will cut you off. I will make that sacrifice for my own happiness. Yes. Right? And you're committed to this. You are committed to your own happiness. Yes. You are committed to creating balance in your life for yourself. Yes, you are. And you will have, you will be given the energy for that. Yes, yeah, Spirit's giving you the energy to cut out things that no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Spirit's telling me to wrap it up. Okay, my beautiful Cancer Divine Femmes, my Cancerians, this is what I have for you. I think this is a great reading, you know, um, a very good lesson to learn, you know. We all have to learn it at some point in time in our lives, you know. And it is what it is. You keep it moving, you know. But if you could be abundant in the past, you can definitely be abundant in the future because it comes from you, right? You know how to create it. It's those people that are always beg, borrowing, and stealing that are going to have a problem because they don't know how to do shit for themselves, right? You have the, you are the abundance. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, my beautiful divine femmes. So before I go, I just want to direct you to my description box. Please take a look at the programs offered in my description box. They are channeled from 5D from upstairs by Sophia Charles. They're created by a twin flame for twin flames, right? So this will help you in all areas of your life to heal so you can find that strength, you know, and stand in your power to tell a motherfucker to kick rocks, right? Create your abundance and know how to manage it well, right? Yes, manage it well. Um, also, if you are looking for a personal reading or you are looking for personal counseling sessions, uh, I have to let you know, though, the personal counseling sessions come with the purchase of the program. I'm just pretty much there to hold your hand, to help you walk through some things you may have, um, you may need clarity on because I do these programs myself. It is a lifestyle change. So that's what the counseling sessions are for. Uh, and like I said, if you're looking for a personal reading, you can just take a look at the programs offered. I mean, sorry, the information in my description box and we can get it done. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, Divine fams, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.